Thank you everybody for staying with us. We are almost done with, with the day two of our conference and we are headed now to find out who has won the Accessibility Innovation Award, which will be presented by Irene Barikirika, the Executive Director of Enable. And it's a goodbye for me. It has been a pleasure to be the Master of, Master of Ceremonies for the Inclusive Africa Conference 2020. Over to you, Irene, and goodbye from me. Excellent. Thank you, Wanja. We truly do appreciate your contribution and your support through the process. Um, to all the participants, um, definitely looking forward to the following session. I think um, digital accessibility is a very new concept in Africa, but the reality is that we do have some silent innovators who've been trying to make a difference across the continent. So we are going to um, see some of the work that has been done before, and then um, we can share some more information. So we will have some videos for you to see about uh, the latest innovation. Hi, my name is Klaw Litsomi. I'm a co-founder and CEO at Finsights Technology. Finsights is a digital company which makes use of AI, artificial intelligence, and assistive technology to prevent vision impairment and need those who are vision impaired and blind to live a very comfortable life. So we are currently working on the Vices project. We started the Vices project um, because of the havoc we saw um, in our environment. Lots of vision impaired persons have had to drop out of schools and colleges because of the quality they were facing in reading books. And even those who are in school currently don't enjoy inclusive education because of the quality they face in reading, especially with the use of Braille. So we developed um, the Vice's OCR written application, which we installed on, on our on digital devices and installed in schools of visually impaired to hate those who are visually impaired to, to read books conveniently. Basically, what the Vice's OCR app does is read books, which is printed books and printed materials to the visually impaired person, thereby giving them access to inclusive and sound education like their peers in other schools. So um, we, we understand very much that um, our markets are unique and um, due to that some of them may not be able to fully afford our products and, um, and, and and as well as the fact that they need to be able to engage and use the products easily. So we created um, a kind of system whereby our product is affordable, um, easy to use and um, also easily accessible so that we can be able to um, so that we can be able to actually make impact in the lives of these vision impaired persons. Um, we would very much love to be part of the um, social innovation program because we believe it will help us to scale our impact and develop and structure our business across Nigeria and Africa. Thank you very much. Hi, welcome to Finger Spelling Pro for Kids. This app is the alphabet game in sign language for kids. Kids can play, learn, and practice hand shapes of letters. The games include learn, quiz, hand shape sorting, and puzzles. Learn. I want to show you a short video. A girl kid wants to learn the alphabet in sign language. She clicks any hand shape to pop up a big image. She can hear a sound saying this is a letter. Clicks X to close the big image. Clicks another one she sees and practices a hand shape as it appears. This app helps kids to recognize hand shapes as they appear. I want to show another short demo video. These beautiful kids are excited to answer quiz game. They can hear and see if the answer is right or wrong. Wait, one more special. It is the parental gate. 
It prevents kids from following links out of the app. For example, to visit a website without the knowledge of their parents. The app says ask your parent for help. Parents of kids can answer a simple question. Draw three colors that are matched. Then go to web link. If kids try to answer wrong, they cannot go any link. Thank you for watching this video demo. So I hope you have enjoyed uh, the two uh, finalists. And over the last two days, we've come together to discuss and debate uh, the digital accessibility challenges and opportunities across Africa, and also the need for innovation. It has been a rich and rewarding experience. I can't think of a more fitting end uh, to the Inclusive Af Africa Conference than celebrating some of this uh, digital accessibility innovation. We launched uh, the Accessibility Innovation Award uh, last month to shine a light on the on the, on the innovations that improve the lives of people in Africa. As you have seen uh, from the finalists, the entries um, in this award re are really special. I'm delighted that we have the two finalists with us here today. And before we meet our finalists, I would like to take a moment to thank all our judges for their time and expertise. They had a difficult job in, deci in deciding um, on, the, on, the, on the innovations. And we are glad they came up, um, at least they gave us the last two included. We also had uh, people with disabilities who provided very valuable feedback on the usability of both applications. Um, so without any further delay, I would like to introduce to you Tommy Kolawole, the CEO and the founder of Vimsight uh, from Nigeria. Tommy, please turn on your, um, uh, your video and welcome. Please tell us a bit more about your application and who it benefits and how you thought all about accessibility. Um, thank you very much, Hiring. Um, my name is Kalauli Tomi, like Hiring said. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Vinsight Technology. Vinsight um, is basically a digital adventure, which aids those who are visually impaired to um, enjoy convenience and inclusiveness in education by aiding them to read printed books and educational materials. Um, so we, we created an application um, known as VICES um, OCR. Um, basically, it's mixed use of optical character recognition to capture um, printed books and educational materials and reach it to the vision impaired persons in real time. Um, we created it because um, in our environment here in Nigeria, um, lots of vision impaired persons are about to drop out of schools and colleges because of the difficulties they face in reading printed books and educational materials. Yeah, although there's, um, there's Braille, most of them use Braille, but Braille has actually not been too easy for most vision impaired persons, especially in the tertiary institutions. So that's why we decided to create something that um, can aid them to enjoy sound, convenient, and inclusive education like the other sighted peers. So that's that's basically what um, the VICE's OCR project is about. Thanks, Tommy. Um, I've been in the uh, I've been working with uh, blind and visually impaired students and their teachers for many years now. So I have a very great appreciation of the type of innovation that you've developed because I can see the direct impact on blind and visually impaired students and their teachers. So we do appreciate you joining us today. And then next, Thank I'm you. going to invite, oh, sorry, you're most welcome. Next, I'm going to invite Hudson. Hudson, you can now turn on, on your camera and please share with us, um, please tell us about your app, who it benefits, and how did you think about accessibility? Thank you. Uh, thank you, Irene, for the invitation. My name is Hudson Asiema, and I'm from Kenya. I'm also the, the founder of Deaf Elimo Plus, 
which is an innovative app that focuses on uh, bringing children up with an understanding of sign language. Now, we have a lot of, of applications that are, are centered for adults, uh, sign language education in Kenya, but we miss that when it comes to kids. So now we, we have uh, an app that is tailored for, for, for kids who are deaf and also for kids who are also hearing, and this will help us re reduce the communication barriers among, among the peers. Now also the parents who have deaf kids can also use the app to start learning uh, sign language. Now, accessibility for deaf people can only happen when we have communication barriers, and that was the, the main point. Thank you. Thank you, Hudson. So, as everyone has been waiting, um, I'm going to go ahead and announce the winner anytime now. And uh, the winner will come back again and share with us how they're going to spend the, the money. It's a prize award of $10,000. And the winner is Finger Spelling Pro. Congratulations, Hudson. I can tell the judges were very impressed by the impact of your app. It's low cost point of um, sustainability and scalability. Please tell us what this means to you. And importantly, what will you do with such an investment? So this is very exciting for us. Thank you. Wow, wow, uh, thank you. I, I'm, I'm totally very excited for, for this award. Uh, now, my plan now is to, to use the, the, the award money that I've gotten to scale up the, the, uh, the access for, uh, for the Finger Spelling Pro that we are having now. So I, we need to, 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 to scale it up so that we can also have other, other, other words that kids can learn, like uh, understanding nouns like fruits and different words that are also accompanied with with uh, picture messages to to make language ac uh, acquisition start early for for deaf kids so we we, we are going to, to to i'm going to use that that uh, uh award money to work with with people who can help me develop these tools in terms of doing 3ds where we are needed and have have more accessibility for uh, deaf kids and also their peers in terms of acquiring sign language. So uh, th this will be a, a real help in terms of having tools for developing of, of, of sign language and doing even stories for deaf kids. Thank you. Fantastic. Uh, thank you so much, Hudson, and congratulations. Again, on behalf of Enable and the Inclusive Africa Conference, we definitely look forward to many, many more innovations uh, within the continent to help us solve uh, local, uh, local problems. So thank you so much, um, and uh, we look forward uh, to future collaboration.